got me like Hello folks this is Aitan Ajha from inspiretorize.com and today we have the OnePlus 3T smartphone here with us for a detailed hands-on review and unboxing of the same so guys let's begin So we will start off firstly with the unboxing for this device we have the gunmetal color version 64 GB you can see the SAR value on the back of the smartphone's box and let's just open it up inside what you get is the smartphone itself gunmetal color really feels nicer than before the silver color was the previous version and you get the dash charger for this smartphone and the OnePlus 3 charged fully from 0 to 100% in just 74 minutes the build and design of the OnePlus 3T is exactly same as the OnePlus 3 on the bottom you get the USB type C 3.5 mm jack you get the speaker grill and the overall design is almost similar to the OnePlus 3 the left hand side has the priority alert slider and the volume rocker for the smartphone the overall metallic design is same great as before the priority alert slider has that nice finish on the top which is really great on the right hand side we have the power button and the sim tray slot for the smartphone it comes with support for two dual nano sims and it does not have micro sd expandable card storage so that's a small con the camera microphone is just in the small line above the camera and that's really great design because it does not appear otherwise and can be only seen when you look closely enough the camera bump is still there and it is one of the most noticeable design flaws for the smartphone but you can make do with it in case you install any cover or back panel the fingerprint sensor is same as before and that means really great snappy performance and it comes with Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 chipset 6 GB of RAM and 64 GB or 128 GB of internal storage it comes with Android 6.0.1 out of the box and will soon get update to Android Noga 7.0 in case you see it has almost every sensor that you might need for great performance the Snapdragon 821 chipset is essentially an overclocked version of the Snapdragon 820 but it does run really fast and the single core performance is really great. It scored around 1,64,097 on the Antutu benchmark which is a great score, the highest I have seen. It scored around 4,293 on the multi core score and 1,877 on the single core score on the Geekbench 4 benchmark, the highest that I have seen but in terms of multi core it is still less when compared to the Samsung Galaxy S7 or Samsung Galaxy Note 7. I think with the future generations of Samsung Galaxy S8, Samsung might bridge the performance gap even more. It scored around 59.8 frames per second on the Nina Mark 2 benchmark which is a good score, not the greatest but good and it scored around 42,000 plus on the Quadrant Standard benchmark which is a really great score. Now let's talk about the camera for this device. The camera has seen the major upgrades. The 16 megapixel primary camera is almost same as before with the OIS, autofocus, PDAF, f2.0 aperture, LED flash and the modes are also same as before but the front camera has seen the greatest improvement in terms of a 16 megapixel f2.0 aperture sensor which has a pixel size of 1 micrometer. And another new thing is the fact that you can now shoot 1080p videos at 60 fps. You also get the manual mode and few other things. If you see all of the images that I took the dynamic range is great as before I just took the smartphone opened up the camera took shots without focusing without anything just like a point and shoot camera and the quality was still good I also took some video samples and let's just take a closer look at one of the 4k videos that I shot from this camera so this is now the 4k video scaled down to 1080p resolution and let's just zoom in and you can see the full crop 1080p video taken from the 4k resolution for this device and let's just head back to the 4k scale down to 1080p resolution and this is the video taken from the front camera of the smartphone which can shoot up to 1080p videos and the quality was definitely good and I found out that some areas were really overexposed but other than that it was really a great camera. If you talk about the performance the Snapdragon 821 is currently one of the fastest mobile chips around and the performance was definitely great on the smartphone while I played Grand Theft Auto Vice City on maximum possible settings. If there is something called a 60 FPS gaming on a smartphone then this smartphone definitely has it. Almost every game was able to run on this one with great quality and settings. The OnePlus 3 was a great performer. 
consumer. The 3T improves upon that and it builds further upon that base. The only issue that I feel that might come is because of the overclocking and that might be higher temperatures while playing games for a longer period of time and that is something that needs really serious testing. The UI has been changed a little and improved from before. The newer version of Oxygen OS definitely looks heavily inspired from material design, the edges etc. Everything is smooth, transitions are clear, everything feels really snappy on this device. The 6 GB of RAM definitely performs good and in terms of multitasking also I feel that this smartphone won't have any issues. The notification drawer is a little bit different. I feel that with the Android Noga update things would definitely become even more better with the smartphone. The OnePlus 3T features a larger 3600mAh battery in the same form factor, in the same chassis and just to think about the fact that you would get even better battery life on the same great thin looking smartphone is a great deal in itself. And now let's just test the audio playback quality for the smartphone. <laughs> People. The audio is great, the maximum volume is okay, I would say that it is almost similar to the OnePlus 3 and the speaker placement is also something that is really appreciated by people like me. One of the design cons about the smartphone was the camera bump on the back, it is almost same as before and this is one of the things that I didn't like but still it does add to the overall build quality and feel of the smartphone. In case you use a back cover or something which does hide the protruding bump, then it would become even better deal for someone who would be a long term user for the smartphone. The availability of the smartphone and how easily would people be able to buy it would determine how successful it would be. The OnePlus 3T would be Amazon exclusive in India and it will go on sale from December 14. The 64GB version will come in gunmetal and soft gold color options at Rs 2999 which is 30,000 and the 128GB version will come only in gunmetal color at 3499 which is around 35,000 rupees. For such a price, I say that this smartphone delivers great value for money and in case you are someone who wants to buy a near flagship experience without breaking the bank, then the OnePlus 3T is the smartphone to go for in 2016. So guys this was it for this video. In case you like this one don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos like this. This is Aitan Ajha from InspireTorize.com signing off folks. Stay Inspired Torize.